Hello people and welcome to the Counterfactual Story YouTube channel. In today's episode we will talk about GAD or General Intelligence Directorate, uh, the primary intelligence agency of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Before we start, don't forget to press subscribe button. The role of intelligence was recognized by King Abdul Aziz Al Saud, who had used it as a unification of Saudi Arabia. His interest in modern communication increasingly grew when he set up the first radio communication system in Saudi Arabia. The kingdom started the intelligence service in 1955 under the name Al Al Mabahit Al Amah. During the reign of King Saud bin Abdul Aziz, the general intelligence was separated from the Mabahit General Investigation Directorate and intelligence was established as an independent security service with the issuing of the Royal Decree number 11 in 1957 that ordered the setting up the special department under the title of um, a general intelligence department. During this period, two branches of the presidency were set up locally, the western branch in Jeddah and the eastern one in Dahran. The GEP expanded under the King Faisal bin Abdul Aziz with the opening of office abroad, offices actually. The agency expanded its monitoring of internal threats after the 1979 capture of the Grand Mosque in Mecca. GP's charter was cha changed by King Khalid bin Abdul Aziz in 1982 by Royal Decree M5, dated December 19, 1982, which set out its responsibilities, duties and the limits of its activities. It established the internal organization of the agency with the General Department of Operation, the General Department for Administration and Finance, the General Department for Training and Planning and the General Department for Technical Affairs along with the National Research Center and the Center for Media and International Communication, previously Center for Translation and Media. In 1997, the Office for External Communications was transferred to the Presidency from the Presidency of the Council of Ministers. Its name was also changed to the General Department for External Communication and it was threatened uh, with the addition of high-tech equipment and specialists in the radio surveillance. This period saw the expansion of the, the activities of the agency abroad with the establishment and development of more offices in other countries and show more effect to organize its work. During the reign of King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, the higher committee for development was set up and it was chaired by the president of the General Intelligence Presidency. Its membership consisted of the heads of the various department of the, of the GEP. Also during the tenure of King Fahd, the administrative structuring of the information center was approved. In the late January 2013, Interior Minister Prince Mohammed bin Ayef announced that Saudi women will be allowed to work at the Directorate. The Safari Club was an alliance of intelligence service formed in 1976 that ran covert operation around Africa at a time when the United States Congress had clipped the CIA's wings over the years of abuses. Its former members were Iran, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Morocco and France. The group maintained informal connection with the United States. The group executed a successful military intervention in Zaire in response to an invasion from Angola. It also provides arms to Somalia in its 1977-1978 conflict with Ethiopia. It organized secret diplomacy relating to the anti-communism in Africa and had been credited with the in, in, in initiating the process resulting in the 1970 Egypt-Israel peace treaty. The Soviet-Afghan war lasted over nine years, from December 1979 to February 1989. An insurgent group known collectively as the Mujahideen, as well as the smaller Maoist groups, fought at guerrilla war against the Soviet Army and the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan government, mostly in the rural countryside. The Mujahideen groups were backed primarily by the United States, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, making the Cold War proxy war. On October 99, 2010, two packages, each containing a bomb consisting of 3 to 400 grams of plastic explosives and a detaining mechanism were found on separate cargo planes. The bombs were discovered as a result of intelligence received from Saudi Arabia's security chief. 
They were bound from Yemen to the United States and were discovered at en route stopovers, uh, one at the East Midlands Airport in the UK and one in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. One week later, Al-Qaeda in uh, the Arabian Peninsula took responsibility for the plot and for the crash of UPS Airlines Flight 6. American and British authorities believed Anwar al-Avlaki of AQA, AQAP uh, was behind the bombing attempts and that the bombs were most likely constructed by the AQAP's main explosive expert Ibrahim Hassan al-Asiri. The bombs were probably designed to detonate mid-air with the intention of destroying both planes over Chicago or another city in the US. Each bombs had already been transported on passenger and cargo planes at the time of discovery. Saudi Arabia's involvement in the Syrian war involved the large-scale supply of weapons and ammunition to various rebel groups in Syria during the Syrian civil war. The Financial Times reported in May 2013 that Qatar was becoming a larger provider of arms to the various groups. In the summer of 2013, Saudi Arabia emerged as the main group financing and uh, arming the rebels. Saudi Arabia financed a large purchase of infantry weapons such as Yugoslav made Recoles guns and uh, M79 Osa, an anti-tank weapon from Croatia which ship and settling to Jordan. The weapons begin reaching rebels in December 2012, which allowed rebels small tactical gains against the Syrian army. This shipment was said to be the counter shipment of weapons from Iran to aid the Syrian government. Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Qatar have received criticism, criticism from the Western media for backing certain Syrian rebels associated with the Army of Conquest, which includes the Al Nusra Front, an Al Qaeda affiliated group. In August 2017, the Syrian opposition was informed by the Saudi foreign minister that the kingdom was designating from them. Subsequently, Saudi Arabia has taken a more consolatory stance toward the Syrian government. Timber Sycamore was a classified weapon supply and training program run by the United States Central Intelligence Agency and supposed by Arab, uh, supported by Arab intelligence services, including the Security Service of Saudi Arabia. Allowed in 2012 or 13, it supplied money, weaponry, and training the rebel forces fighting Syrian President Bashar al Assad in the Syrian civil war. According to US officials, the program trained thousands of rebels. The first uh, president of Al Mukbrat Al Ahmah was Sheikh Kamal Adham, who served from the 1965 to 1979. Then Turki Al Faisal served as the president of Al Muqabarat Al Amah until 2001. Prince Turki resigned abruptly from his post 10 days before the 9 11 attack in 2001, in which 14 Saudi nationals hijacked and crashed US commercial airlines. Uh, despite having uh, had his appointment extended in May 2001 for another four years. Nawaf bin Abdulaziz replaced Prince Turki on September 1, 2001. The organization was renamed the General Intelligence Presidency during Nawaf's tenure. Nawaf was relieved on his duty as the head of GEP by Crown Prince Abdullah on, two, on January 25, 2005. For nine months, nobody was appointed to head of the presidency. <clears throat> then Mukrin bin Abdulaziz was appointed as head of the General Intelligence Presidency by King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz in October 2005. Additionally, King Abdullah relieved Prince Saudi bin Fakht al Saud of his duty as the Vice President of GEP. Faisal bin Abdullah bin Mohammed was appointed as the new Vice President of GEP. On July 20, 2012, Prince Bandar bin Sultan was appointed Director General of Al Mukbahar Tal Mahmah, replacing Mukrin bin Abdulaziz. Another Saudi royal, Prince Abdulaziz bin Bandar, who had been vice head of the directorate was relieved from his post and Yusuf bin Ali al Adrisi replaced him as vice head in October 2012. On April uh, 2014, Prince Bandar bin Sultan was removed from his position at his own request, according to the an- 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 
in the Saudi state media. It was reported that Prince Bandar would be replaced by his deputy Yusuf bin al Rizi. However, Khalid bin, uh, bin Bandar al Saud became the director general of the Al Muhabrat Al Amah on June 30. 2014, his term ended on January 29, 2015, when Khalid bin Ali al-Humadain, sorry for that, replaced him in the past. I hope you like this episode, don't forget to press subscribe button and see you very soon, bye!